So the Love Island reunion, more teasers are coming out for it tomorrow. And guys, dare I say it, but I am excited. You guys, just more Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Truly, it is fresh content. Subscribe to the channel. Now, off to my brother's wedding. Like, I'm ethnic child, so we have like five different functions for the same wedding. So for the last three weekends, there's been functions, and this is obviously the last week of functions. So obviously I'm giving you gray suit, I'm giving you navy tie, I'm giving you, I'm the boss of the company, I'm giving you, I'm coin up, I'm giving you, I'm taking you out on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth date, and I don't wanna see your bank card on the damn table because I'm giving you, I'm paying for the check. That's what is given. Anyway, let's get into this video where um, more obviously is coming out in regards to this. Love Island have announced that they are extending the reunion to an hour and a half, over 90 minutes of television for the reunion because of how explosive it's going to be. Now, I don't know if they always say it's extended to hype people up and that it's always half an hour and a half. I don't recall it to be, but you know, I'm excited for that. And they're doing so because a lot obviously is taking place outside of the show in that week, you know, since the finale on Monday. Whitney obviously has said that she's going to be the most unfiltered person. Catherine put up a story saying, who's going to be the most unfiltered? Whitney said, it's me, B. She's going to be the most unfiltered and going to be the most person going to be quite direct and address a lot of the issues in the room, i.e. with Katie. I'm excited for that. Amber obviously is running her mouth on her stories or TikTok saying that, you know, most of the couples have already split up anyways after coming out of Love Island. So who else is she alluding to? She's also being a little bit messy even there. And even some other Islanders who were dumped in the first week are um, saying that they have beef with people. I don't know why they're saying that. Probably to try and grab some airtime or something, but we'll see. And then of course, the questions are gonna be asked about Scott and Catherine. They're both gonna be together in the same room, probably on a couch. And of course, Maya's gonna ask, you know, rekindling and what's happened have they spoken is there anything going on between them i think at this point it's forced if people want to put it together as a moment and really when people it's so obvious when people in the uk try for stuff um when it comes to like people who are trying to you want them to date or whatever like we make it so bad in the uk we just force it out people's throats like look like in terms of the contestants or participants but like you know is anything happening are you guys gonna do something have you guys gone for a day oh my god you guys have been in the dms it's not that serious so just let them be whatever they want to be but you know, there definitely seems to be a lot more tease when it comes to this. See what happens when it comes to Mitchell and Katie and what's gonna happen with there. This whole Mitchell, Abby, Ella B, Scott, foursome of beef, it's been overplayed in the show. We don't really need to see it happen again, but that's obviously going to happen as well. And so I believe it's just gonna be mainly KB being a mess pot, which I'm here for, to be honest with you. Whitney obviously directing and discussing it. And then of course, you know, the foursome with their beef that they've had, Scott and Catherine, what's gonna happen there. I feel like these are gonna be the main focal points as well. And just really just addressing KB on the fact that, you know, why have you been speaking and running your mouth on these podcasts, you know, saying X, Y, Z. I don't want that to be the main crux of the reunion. I feel like Love Island get it very wrong when it comes to the reunions. Unfortunately, they do it horrifically wrong. I don't want the main crux of the mess to be about what's happened outside of the show. A reunion is about what's happened during the season. So, you know, that's what needs to be discussed, what's happened during the season. However, I feel like the groovies, grifties, or whatever you want to call it, has already kind of rinsed that out anyway. So we'll just see what happens. But I feel like I'm not going to get too excited, but I'm here for it. Definitely go and hit the link in my bio for tickets for the reunion. I'm doing an online stream. We want to watch it together, react together. It's going to be an absolute hoot. It's going to be an absolute moment, guys. Yes, yes, I said the word hoot. Last um, Love Island Winter was a moment as well. So definitely go and buy a ticket. And, you know, we'll watch the stream together. We'll watch the TV together. We'll react during the breaks. We can talk about it, have debates and discussions afterwards. It's going to be an absolute moment. Tickets are under five pounds. It's going to be a moment, moment, moment. So definitely go and grab those tickets. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.